While Hurricane Dorian bears down along the East Coast, it's disasters like this that serve as a reminder for us here in the Tri-States to always be prepared for a natural disaster. WGEM's Kaylee Pfeifferling is here now in the studio with more for us. Kaylee. Alexandra, we most likely won't see any of the rain bands from Dorian, but local emergency officials say it is still smart to have an emergency preparedness kit in your car just in case you get stranded. Every vehicle should have one of these, an emergency preparedness kit. This one is equipped with a blanket, snacks, and water. But Quincy firefighter Ryan Camphouse says it goes even further than that. A basic first aid kit. Um, and then it's good to have things like jumper cables, uh, the tools to change your tire uh, in case you get a flat. Um, if you do break down the side road, having uh, reflective triangles to warn other uh, vehicles that you, you know you're having an emergency and they need to move over and give you some space. All of those items can help keep you safe until emergency personnel are able to arrive. Because in a natural disaster, like a blizzard, for example, the response times will most likely be longer. There's going to be a lot more people in the same situation. So it could take us longer, not only to drive to each incident, but also to, because of the sheer number of calls that we'll receive during that period, could extend our time to, to get to each individual. And don't forget to pack batteries and a flashlight. It's also a good idea to keep family and emergency phone numbers, including your auto insurance provider and a towing company, in your phone. Kaylee Pfeifferling, WGEM News. Thank you, Kaylee. We have